Pedro. I can't be with you any longer. Hello, this is uh, Dalton from Jaltoid. And today I'm going to show you how to do lip syncing. There we go. Alright, so we have our latest uh, flash, at least correspondence to the time. Our latest flash, K. And what we are going to do is we're going to show you how to lip sync. So we'll go into our first object, which is the female lady. So here we have all of our movement, but that's another tutorial. This one's all about the lip syncing. So we'll go into our object, which is the mouth. And I will explain what all of this is. Uh, let's go in here. All right, so this is where we have all of the mouths. Um, when you're drawing your mouths, you want to pick one point. Um, usually what we do is we start from the top of the lip and make sure it works down. So let me show you down here. It'll be onion skin. For you who don't know what onion skinning is, it's basically you can preview the before and after frames. So let's see. If you see onion skin, you see we still keep a basic... Um, we keep all the mouths as, as to the top as possible. Like. See, we have the line there. That's about where all the mouths are starting from, and they all touch, so. The moves, see, they move down, down like that. They don't like stretch. Some uh, problem a lot of people have is they have their mouth is like, here, let me get a circle so I can show you. Like, they have them talk like this, like, you know, the center, like that. Blah, 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 blah. They want to talk like that. So, let's get rid of that. Wow, I've got a lot of background noise and I apologize okay so let's start by showing what all the mouths are this is an a so if you have your if you're going ah ah that's the mouth you're gonna use mouth closed like and and oh okay so that's the mouths and the sounds tried to be goofy with them if I wasn't sorry okay so let me get rid of the move mouths I've already done so we'll remove that okay so we'll start from scratch so I can show you how to do just the basic uh, lip movement so what I usually do is like grab my first mouth and uh, the setup for your mouths you need to have these as graphics and they need to be single frame if they're not set up with graphic and single frame do it now how you do this is you go to properties uh, under you'll probably say movie clip if it's not a graphic and select graphic and then under looping single frame and then you'll be able to select your frames so in here oh uh, one thing I didn't explain earlier, I thought it was kind of self-explanatory, but let me go into it. Um, each mouth needs to be on a separate frame in the uh, keyframe. So we have seven, eight mouths, so they're all on eight frames. So this is the best setup for you. Okay, so we'll take this mouth and we'll duplicate it on a different layer. Make sure that it's not on the same layer and just put it down here. Since we have eight mouths, let's fit eight mouths underneath here so there's um, four and eight so what we do now is we select the first mouth and I usually drag my properties over here because it's a lot easier than dragging them out there and back there and back there and back so let me grab the first one select it come over to looping one and set the first frame to one, same here, two, three, and then that one's four. You can also scroll, that's easier. Scroll five, scroll six, seven, and then eight. And then that's all of our frames. Let's space these out a little better. So they, let's see, and this, oh, okay, one sec. Windows is doing something. So basically, we got all our mouths here. This is pretty much just a rubric for you, just to or uh, just something for you to look at, so you know which is uh, which mouth is on which frame. I don't usually do numbers, but if 
you need help um, remember or knowing which frame these are all on, the, this down here will display what it pretty much is showing what frame is uh, what mouth. So this is frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five, frame six, frame seven, and frame eight. So now. We're gonna start with lip syncing. Make sure you have your audio dragged into a separate layer. Um, audio will not work if it's on a different layer. I usually put my um, my uh, cheat cheat sheet mouths on the same layer as the audio because they won't be getting any keyframes. So, or you can do it on a completely separate layer, your choice. So, we're gonna start by listening to the first chunk of the audio. Let's see. We're only gonna do that in the first two seconds, so. Pedro, I can't be with you any longer. So, we're gonna start with the beginning. She goes up. So we take the first mouth, that's a four. And then, she, uh, right here, you hear like an ah. So what we're gonna do is press F6, make sure it's on the correct layer where your mouth is. And then we're gonna go in A the a ah sound which it could be used frame one or frame six depending on how exaggerated it is so also um the mouths here uh they're just the basic mouths that you that we use in this one we usually listen to the audio first and then draw uh draw out the mouths so those are just the basic mouths really for any lip syncing so if you want to use these as an example, these are a good example of mouths that you'd be using for really any situation. And while Windows is doing something again, I will wait to continue this tutorial. You know what? I think it's because that's open. Okay. So then you got the ah. Uh, now a d, d, like kind of like a sound. So when you have like an ending of a sentence or like a D or just like just kind of sound it out even if you have to like look into a mirror to help you with your lip syncing just to see like the mouths you can make sometimes even I mouth them out just to kind of like get an example of like how people talk so I've got a kind of a you know a understanding of it so if I'm kind of vague just just that's why because I kind of sound it out so Okay, so right here we have kind of an O, oh, an O oh sound, so we'll have an A, A for that, so. Okay, and then it, it gets to be more of an O, oh, so we want to continue with the f five right here, the more closed O. Oh. Okay, so we'll just do that for now, so. And we'll have the mouth closed at the end. So, anytime we end sentences, I have the mouth either closed to a, the T's, the t sound, or the just like a mouth like that. But that didn't really fit there, so I didn't use that. So now we've got this. Pedro, I. And it looks kind of choppy. It's not really, not very clean. How um how I usually clean it up is I zoom into the mouths, and move that. All right, zoom out a little. Okay, so whenever you have an ending or a big or a beginning of a uh, of the lips moving. This is what I do when I have a ending, so it's kind of like a mouth going closed. I usually, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Anchor point um, should be at the top, usually, depending, because that's where the mouth is going up and down. But if you forgot to do that, you can hold Alt, and it does the same, similar thing, at least. So whenever you do that, make sure your anchor point is up here. It just makes it, hell of a lot easier so and then let's see so we just end so it's just like her mouth is closing and then now her mouth is going to open to na so we want to get our uh onion skinning and okay so we can see the next one so what i do is i usually manipulate the mouth to kind of look like it's opening whoops raw onion. make sure you create all your keyframes don't do any movement before creating keyframes, that is a mistake I make a lot. <laughs> kind of frustrating. So now the mouth is opening, so it's not closing. So we want we don't want to close it. We want to open it slightly, just to show that the mouth is opening. So now it looks like this. Pedro, I can't be. 
And if we continue to do it, it'll look even smoother. So now the mouth is closing. So we want to close it a little, just slightly. Whenever you have these movements, don't do too drastic of movements. So the mouth is still closing, or it's closing now. So we have the T move it up slightly. Now it's going to open. So now we're going to stretch it down and like that. So not too drastic, but enough to where it's more pretty much the mouth is morphing into the other into the next frame. So, you know, use your judgment too. sometimes if you have to move it slightly, no heavy movements, but like enough to change it to the right objects. So that's it. Oh, it's closing. Don't press S5 too, because that does not help anyone. So we'll stretch these out. Okay, and then the mouth is closing, so just slightly up. Okay, so now it's gonna look like this. Pedro, I can't be with you any so longer. That looks a lot smoother compared to that choppy crap I had before. So um, that's just the basics of lip syncing. If you want uh, more in-depth lip syncing tutorials, um, I can do that. But this is just the basic of how to manipulate the mouths and uh, set it up. Uh, first, uh, before you even interpret this into your uh, animation, make sure you get rid of these mouths. Those are just for you. It's not not anything to keep around. It's just for you so then you can interpret the object and then you know you can have your movement the movement will be the next tutorial we do so stick around i have a phone call so i will be back for the next tutorial thank you pedro i can't be with you any longer pedro i can't be with you any longer